So this morning we were greeted with overcast skies again and rather than heading down to the beach for a sunset or a sunrise that was not going to happen, I decided to just go explore some roads and I actually found a little road that I had never been on before and I found this beautiful trail while up that road. Areas like this are a big challenge to photograph because just because it looks beautiful and you see all the beauty with your eyes, it's really hard to compose it, especially when we don't have light to kind of aid us. So I'm just walking around trying to find a subject of some kind. There's a, I have a few ideas. I don't know if they'll translate into good photos though. So I think what drew me to this image is kind of the same thing that draws me to most forest scenes. It's just kind of where the light was falling the best. You know, even though it's overcast, the, the light from above is not going to fall evenly throughout the forest. There's kind of an opening back there and it's shining light on this one particular tree that's covered in moss and it's an interesting shape. It just, it just caught my eye. And part of why it caught my eye is the fact that it's framed so nicely by the dark trees on the sides. So for this shot, I'm using a circular polarizer, which is going to take the glare off of all of those ferns and the leaves, and it's going to just give the shot better saturation. I'm making sure to expose to the right a little bit without blowing out my highlights. I know I'm gonna darken down the shot later on in post, but I want to have nice clean shadows, so I'm exposing to the right. And I'm gonna do a two shot focus stack just to make sure that these ferns that are a little bit closer to camera are gonna be nice and sharp. So the final result is gonna look like this. I've said this a bunch of times, but I think what I love so much about seascape photography is the fact that you can camp out on a composition, shoot it over and over and over and over and over, and every frame is different because the water movement is different. So I'm really trying to get the water movement and the light to line up 
which is a big challenge because about the time that I get light that I like, the composition that I set up is no longer working. I'm either not getting the wave that I need or the tide has moved out in that amount of time to where the water is no longer reaching where I need it to reach. So it's a, it's a challenge, but that's what I like about it. We have this really interesting uh, sea arch, sea cave over here, and I'm trying to use, utilize that as a background and then kind of sneak up on some interesting water movement to use as my foreground. Maybe it's where the water is flowing around a rock or between a couple rocks, and I'm trying to use that water movement to lead you back into the shot. We're not getting much of a sky tonight. Um, it's just kind of how it goes when you get the low fog. So I'm trying to really, you know, make, make the photo more about the foreground and to make the experience more about the experience of being out here and doing it and not being stuck at home. Because I've been stuck at home for months. And I'm just excited to be out here.